buds welcome back to the nava rose channel so you all are probably thinking why is nava barely coming out with a quarantine outfits video like seven months into the pandemic well that's because surprise surprise we're still in this pandemic seven months later even though i really thought by september latest that we would be out of this whole situation but you know america is so selfish and does not want to wear a mask the early months of quarantine everyone was just straight up looking boo boo which is totally fine because ain't no one gonna see you anyways but i think we have finally hit a point in this pandemic where even if they're just going to be working from home taking class at home people just want to put themselves together and not just wear sweatpants all the time so that is what this whole video is about today i'm going to be sharing outfit ideas that are stylish cute and trendy that you can wear around the house while you're in quarantine but are still as comfortable as t-shirt and sweatpants i'm also going to be sharing some outfits that you could wear while you are sick because it is perfect timing since it is cold and flu season honestly i would say covid season but the whole 2020 has basically been covid season so i will be styling some really cool pieces from the new mucinex collection called sick wear who are the sponsors of today's video it's really cool because mucinex teamed up with designer stephen allen and christina viviani to create this capsule collection that combines fashion and science to help you feel better when you are sick i honestly think this idea is so genius when i first heard about it i was so mind blown because i'm like why do we not have more of this like we need this right now especially during this pandemic sick wear is essentially here to make you look your best when you feel your worst mucinex will also be holding a live stream fashion show on october 20th 8 p.m eastern standard time that i will be featured in where i will be modeling the sick wear collection so make sure you subscribe to the mucinex sick wear youtube channel because that is where it will be held in this outfit i'm wearing the sick wear zimono it's silk pants and this really cool kimono that has these oversized pockets on the outside and on the inside so you could store your dirty and clean tissues i'm pretty sure now that i've worn silk pants i don't want to be sick in anything else because it's so comfy i just feel so nice in it it's made out of antimicrobial fabric and it's really cool because the colors in the sick wear collection psychologically make you feel better when you are sick so blue is very calming it makes you feel cooler if you do have a fever and mr mucus is up here i love that it's also very fashion forward the pieces in the collection are also non-gender and unisex so anyone can wear it i'm telling you right now if you ever get sick you will want to be sick wearing these clothes it just makes you want to just curl up in a ball and just fall asleep in it <laughs> i'm also a shorts type of girl so this is my outfit if i just want to wear the zimono i paired it with a lime green turtleneck just to match the threading no i always got to make everything into an outfit <laughs> turtleneck is just to keep myself warm and then some shorts and matching socks all right so this is how i would style the pants i just paired it with a lime green t-shirt an oversized one just to have that baggy feel i don't know i just really like to color coordinate my outfits even though I'll just be stuck at home, I feel comfy and I look decent. Okay, I really want to style the zimono in an actual outfit, something that I would wear out because it's just so cute and it feels so nice. I know sick wear is made for when you're sick, but this is actually so cute that I would wear it out because look how adorable it is. You could also wear this like maybe if you're in Zoom class and you are feeling under the weather and you just want to throw on this nice zimono, but also throw on a beret just to look cute. Who's he? Hello. I mean, you could also wear this outfit when you're sick because this is literally sports bra and some shorts. I mean, I don't know who would be wearing a beret when they're sick, but honestly, like, I probably would. So if you're like me, then this could be your sick outfit. To get your hands on one of these really cool sick wear pieces, just head to mucinex.com slash sick wear when it drops. This tank from their collection is also made out of antimicrobial fabric. It also has some mesh paneling on the side just to help your body breathe when it gets hot. And the material also wicks off sweat. Wet, which is really helpful when you are sick and when you're like overheating all right same tank but just with a matching outfit because we love a matching set especially if it's like a sweater and a sweatpants set okay so i know this outfit isn't what you usually see me in i'm not usually in this like really frumpy type of silhouette for outfits this isn't my usual outfit but it's the most realistic outfit that people would actually wear it's this really comfy cotton hoodie and some comfy baggy sweatpants this hoodie is also from the sick wear collection it's 
it's perfect for when you're feeling under the weather because the hood is made out of a pillow and it's detachable it has a little eye mask for you so you could cover your eyes and they also have aromatherapy sleeve so you could put your little aromatherapy balls in the sleeve pocket and then the essential oils will make you feel better same hoodie and everything just zipped off the pillow hood and this time i am wearing a skirt i don't know about y'all but i am the type of person that wears skirts when i'm sick or feeling under the weather or just lazy i actually prefer this more than i do shorts and pants and also it's not just for girls it's 2020 let's normalize boys wearing skirts too okay it is so comfortable honestly if you haven't tried it let me put you on something it's airy it's roomy you just feel less constricted and when you're going to use the bathroom you only have to pull down one thing versus two things if you're wearing pants or shorts right see i got a point there Try it out. I personally am a big fan of wearing mesh whenever I'm sick. I just feel like it does keep my body covered in case I'm like getting chills or anything, but it lets my body breathe because of the material. Definitely a quarantine outfit. However, you can wear it if you are sick because it is just an oversized shirt, mesh long sleeve underneath, and just some cycling shorts. Basic outfit, but it looks stylish, right? Ziggler also has this really cool mesh duffel bag that you could throw all your clothes in that you've worn and you could throw the whole thing in the wash. I wanted to show you this outfit of a satin slip midi dress. It's so comfortable. I honestly wear this outfit so many times when I'm just being lazy around the house. But I feel like it is also a really good outfit if you are feeling a tad bit sick. And you know, if it is a little chilly, I have this little cardigan. Let me just tell you, I just love slip dresses. I think they are my absolute favorite lounging around outfit especially during quarantine they're just nice to wear because the satin material just feels so nice on your skin they're really cute they could double up as an outfit and it's one piece of clothing it's like a one and done type of outfit obviously if you are kind of sick then you don't want to just be wearing a slip dress so that's why i have a robe as well but the satin material keeps you cool especially if you're feeling really really warm from your sickness I mean, obviously I wouldn't be wearing this outfit with socks. It's just that my floor is just really cold because it's concrete. This is a sweater, no pants outfit. I thought it was really fun because this sweater is really, really comfortable and I wanted to play with the colors because the orange and purple combo is not everyone's favorite. So I wanted to use both colors, purple socks, orange beanie. I might as well look cute if I'm gonna be stuck at home, you know? The most basic outfit ever for quarantine, and that is a regular just long sleeve t-shirt, some sweats and a beanie, and some socks. Probably the most common go-to outfit when we're feeling sick or under the weather or just in quarantine in general. Although it is very comfortable and very quarantine-esque, it's still an outfit, it still looks cute. And that's because I color coordinated with white and gray. Kind of puts the whole outfit together, so you don't have to look both Bummy. If you want to feel bummy, <laughs> another really common go-to outfit when we're feeling sick or just in quarantine and that is an oversized sweater with some black leggings. You know, I was really trying my hardest not to include black leggings in this video, but let's be real. Black leggings is such a staple in this country and all around the world. So I would be robbing you guys if I didn't put an outfit with some leggings in it. So this is what I came up with. Oversized sweatshirts are like my absolute thing as well. And just to kind of tie it into an outfit, I just paired it with some blue Blue matching socks. All right, this is a pretty basic outfit too, but I feel like it looks like an actual outfit that I would wear out. The cool thing about these sweatpants is that they have a buckle attached to it. So I guess that's what makes this outfit look more put together than a basic shirt and a sweatpants look. I'm literally just wearing a sports bra underneath and then this mesh long sleeve top. I like it because it's breathable, but it's still long sleeve and oversized. So I feel very comfy in it. I would honestly wear this out in public. I would wear all these outfits out in public. Though. So if you're following my Instagram, you probably know that I actually had to spend my 30th birthday in quarantine a couple weeks ago And this was actually my birthday outfit. This is what I wore all day I know it's not like my most stylish outfit But it was super last minute and plus I was kind of sad that I was in quarantine for my birthday So this is what I decided to wear. I just want to go all pastel with the lilac baby pink and the sky blue I just really wanted to feel a little cute with this cute color 
first game on my birthday. Think of it this way. If you have to put on a top and you have to put on bottoms, honey, you might as well at least color coordinate them so that it could be an actual outfit. And literally, if all else failed and you hated all of my previous outfits, then a hoodie and some thigh-high socks are the way to go. That's my go-to. If I just want to be lazy, if I'm sick, if I'm just at home, if I'm going out, honestly, anything. If I have the chance to, I will wear a hoodie and some thigh-high boots or thigh-high socks. That is my uniform. Some might argue that it's not an outfit because it's literally just a big old hoodie and no pants. But you know what? If Ariana Grande says it's an outfit, then it's an outfit. All right, my rosebud, so that concludes my outfits video. I hope this inspired you to not grab your t-shirt and sweatpants. If you're gonna grab for a top and bottom, just at least grab for something that's an actual outfit. You know, even though no one's gonna see you, at least you feel a little bit cute. If you wanna connect, all my socials are at the Nava Rose, except for TikTok, which is at the dot Nava Rose, which also, thank you all for three more. I can't even talk right now, I'm so excited. Thank you for 3.4 million. <laughs> I hope everyone stays safe, wear a mask. We are not out of this pandemic yet. So please wear a mask and please be responsible. Get tested if you feel symptoms so that you don't spread it to others as well. And just keep everyone safe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mucinex YouTube channel where I will be modeling the sick wear collection tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out this one right here. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!